certain organs in our body can serve as a bioreactor. Through real-time feedback from our immune system, we can grow new body parts. We can even grow them in one place and then transplant them to where they are needed. One well-suited organ for such bioreactor function is the skin. This largest organ of the body provides ample real estate to grow therapeutic functional tissue structures. Tissue nanotransfection technology, or TNT, enables in vivo reprogramming of the skin to produce functioning blood vessels, active nerve tissue, insulogenic tissue, and more. This process depends on specialized chips created from silicon wafers. A coating is added to the top, then lasers are used to write small holes into the chip, then etched deep into the wafer. On the other side, a new coating is added and then lithographed to create hollow microneedles. The chip is then etched to make the needles longer, cleaned, and then treated with a new coating to improve precision. The exact nanofabrication process for manufacturing the TNT chip is now reported in a new publication in Nature Protocol. The delivery mechanism consists of two components. First, the chip, fabricated for efficient delivery of cell-specific cargo. Second, the cargo itself, which consists of a combination of different reprogramming factors. The cargo is different for different applications. By applying a highly intense and focused electric field through arrayed nanochannels, this device nanoperates the abutting tissue cell membranes and electrophoretically drives reprogramming factors into the tissue. In this approach, the skin may be viewed as an agricultural land that can be used to cultivate cells and multicellular structures of different functional abilities, such as perfused blood vessels, electrophysiologically active nerve tissue, etc. Using a specific cargo, a combination of different reprogramming factors, skin fibroblasts were successfully converted to vasculogenic cells that ultimately formed perfused blood vessels within seven days. These blood vessel networks anastomosed with the parent circulatory system and rescued against ischemic insults. Similarly, using a different cargo, neurogenic as well as neurotropic reprogramming skin cells were achieved. Such intervention proves to be promising to rescue against stroke as well as diabetic neuropathy. In future, TNT is expected to involve dispensable chips with injectable factors supplied as liquid-loaded cartridges. During use, the chips will be stamped on the skin. Such approach will be compatible with point of care using minimum training for local and remote use. This TNT platform technology has the potential to ultimately enable the use of the patient's own tissue as a prolific immunosurveilled bioreactor to produce tissue, grow body parts, and resolve conditions. It is a one-time treatment applied topically only lasts for a fraction of a second and can be applied at point of care without elaborate laboratory procedures. And it could have applications beyond reprogramming-based cell therapies, such as gene therapy, protein delivery, drug delivery, and cell-specific exosome labeling.